I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session. Razban IFL TV proudly sponsored by Everlast. Delighted to have with me the new European champion, yes. uh, Dan Aziz. Dan, firstly, the straps around you right now. How's it feel? It feels good, man. Um, you know, I've had to work hard to get to this stage, you know, belt by belt, opponent after opponent, and it just makes it that much more better when I actually do win, like, on away soil. Um, be a former European champion. Obviously, he's the French champion, but he's been he's held this belt before, so it's just you know it's adding to the CV, man. I got an incredible CV, I must say. I remember a number of months ago. I can't remember which shirt it was. Is Wembley when you won the British title, and I said to you, "What's next?" And you said, "Listen, I want to follow that traditional route, <laughs> British Commonwealth, yeah. European. You've got the gold, so everything's going in your favour. Yeah. Everything's going your way so far." Yeah, that's it, man. But. It's not just, it's just gone my way. It's all the hard work, the sacrifices. Like, i got a good team back behind me, um, good coaches. Like, so yeah, man, like everything just falls into place. But it's not easy, man. I'll tell you that from now. But yeah, man, we're here to get the job done. Is it even more sweeter that you travelled, you crossed the pond, you came to another country? And listen, we saw what that crowd was like. 100%. Even though he was missing, yeah, 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 they were still yeah, cheering still, him. Yeah, and you, you never know how the... Judges can take that, do you know what I mean? So that was playing into my head. Like, as they were shouting, I thought, oh, come, let's have it. But Buddy's like, oh, hey, man, stop playing to the crowd. But I'm just a natural fighter, like, and I want to entertain as well. So they were enjoying it. And, um, yeah, man, it just makes it, it that's what you got to do, man. If you want to be the best, you got to, you know, come out of your comfort zone, go overseas, like, do you know what I mean? It's not everything, yeah, should be in your favour. And, yeah, that's just going to add to my experience and mould me as a fighter. There was dominance throughout the fight. Did you feel like, or was there any time you felt like stepping up to get that stoppage? Because he was wobbled a few times. Um, the rounds went quick, first of all. And then when it got to 12, I was like, raw, like, I was like, raw, it's like the 12th round. And then, um, yeah, buddy was like, yep, you're up. Just don't take any stupid shots or whatnot. But me with my dumb ass, I was like, nah, fuck this man. <laughs> like, sorry for the language. Like, I wanted to catch him with a good shot. And I'd managed to actually catch him with a good shot. And then um, I think he was out on his feet. And then, yeah, the referee stops it in the right time. Your uh, British colleague in, in McCowlin, uh, he won that fight in, on a lot of people's cars and, and yeah. he didn't get the result. I'm not sure if you know, knew about that result going I into your fight, but was that in, in, in the no, back of your head? No, but I didn't know. I didn't know. But that's what I... When I'm going into the fight, I'm thinking, oh, I can't leave it into the judges' hands. And do you know what I mean? I'm away soil, man. So what do I expect? I'm not. If it, if it if it did happen to me, I'm not the first person it's going to happen to, and I'm not, it's not the last. So I can't cry, cry, cry about it. I just got to go in there and do what I need to do, and I managed to get it in the top round. His team were quite disappointed at the end when the referee stepped in, but absolutely the right decision. Yeah, I, f I think so as well. I was like, you know, when he like it was stunned, I was like, oh, like what's happened? And I went for him again, but the ref, I think he, he done made the right decision. Yeah. Obviously now, future, I remember when, yeah. when you won that British title, you stood there on your Sky interview and you turned around and you said, I'm the man now, I'm the man. I don't know if you remember. Yeah, um, of course. And of course, you back I yourself. Strap, I had the strap to prove it. I had the silverware to prove it. And now I'm the king of Europe. So we move on from there, like, do you know what I mean? So now we just step, we're going to keep step climbing the ladder, man. What, what do you want? Because I know you, you want to mention some names already. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I know you don't like talking about it. I don't. I know you like. No, it's, listen, it's boxing. It's not that I don't like talking about it. But you're all like everyone's always going to talk talk about this fight or that fight. We're in a great division worldwide and domestically. Like in the top ten in the world, there's about five of us in there. Do you know what I mean? So it's boxing. It comes with the territory. I'm, I don't. You know, mention who you want to mention. Like. Well, I'm not going to make you know who those names are. Yeah. They've got the Boatsies, the Yards, yeah. the Lyndon Arthurs, the yeah. Craig Richards, etc. Mm -hmm. But on your mind next is it keep that belt. Defend that belt, and then eventually we, we'll see what happens with those belts, the world title belts yeah. with Batavia, Callum Smith, Bivol, sure. and, and maybe in the next 12, 18 months, get yourself in a good position for those titles. Hundred percent, man. That's it, man. Um, I'm, I keep on. I'm just moving steady, steady, step by step. Um, it looks like I'm doing well. Um, I still got loads of things to work on, and yeah, we'll do that, man. Everything's just falling into place, thank God. And um, yeah, man. 
Finally, um, you got a nice round of applause at the end as, mm. end as well. It was nice for the French it to was, do they that. Were, they were respectful, man. I can't lie. Like, obviously, they were back in their guy, but they were respectful. And um, I was expecting Andy Clark tried to scare me earlier. I was like, oh, hey, Dan, they're going to be really hostile. Like, so I was like, all right, yeah, come then. But they were respectful, man. And um, I really enjoyed the experience. Dan, many yes. congratulations Thank once you, again. Man. How are you um, celebrating? Doing anything in Paris this um, tonight? Paris, I like that. <laughs> um, I'll see what's on. But I'm probably just going to go home. And Hotel, yeah, pizza, yeah, chips, and a Coke. Yeah, yeah. And get back home, man. See yeah, me to my family, friends, and all my supporters back home, man. I just want to thank everybody as well. Thank my team, Connect Force, Sky Boxer, my trainers, Buddy, um, Mark, Yusuf, the whole team, man. Um, and dedicate this fight to my cousin who passed away to cancer a month month ago. Do you know what I mean? Um, it would have been lovely for her to have been here. But, yeah, man, we move, man, and we push. Um, I'm just really, really pleased, man. Well said. Congratulations again, Dan. And, um, yeah, roll on this train, and we'll see you at the next one. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Dan Aziz, IFL TV, thank you very much. Thank you, bro. Did you enjoy that, yeah?